Why? And to quote Kennedy Japan, he says his own people are looting like there's no tomorrow. I was on Ghana TV. Ne, you know who be enough enough is enough demonstration. NDC for a year. You know, many police for putting police near by our crowd. So we boil rather than him. Ah, no, you know, if you say glass be boy, yeah, just say we should say the police for no money. I bring nine NDC for so many. I bring. Now, you know, I say I'm not perceived with this register. No forensic audit because of the bear discrepancies be a no be a enco year. I'm only say M1 2024 election. No, a year pay. No, no, I hold demonstration. I'm only here. No, I'm here demonstration. You know. Mubura, a national cathedral, a hopper, and a mouth for Edi Huare, who Edwin Hose, a Sika, a Abu Bosua, a Uru, a Kuja to Abraqua, a debay, say, a mouth for D, a mass of four being now more board, no so, a free so, a dis archbishop Duncan Williams, and no more car, a free so, and Sembi Brea, a year Uru, a Kuja to Abraqua, and a prophet Kusibuati, a home Sembi Bri, and a bay. Sad national cathedral, ya, a bubu, a dime, and a hun here. Omo ede ye dashara katidra yi. Ena afi adane swimming pool yi. A swimming pool yi. Endi si fwe yi biku jwari yi mua. Che se o she se di yi si koswa. Na are ho. Esa ye tanyi. We yi enya adia. Eye asere se mkra. Na yi nche kakre e kwa oso o nashara katidra afa honu mno. Emra ye ba. Uru ya kujetu abla kwa edin se mbi tu jwa fa sa si kasema ye fa nashara katidra. Onye nusu ye ti. Yes. Nashara katidra. Nenda me o ho yi. Yeah. That's <laughs> National Cathedral, Mi Sule, Sule Tema, Mena, Mi Chade Abraham, National Cathedral, Tokyo, 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 this is 58 million dollars. Ghanaians are suffering. Look at the pond. Look at the pond. Look at the one, 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 one village, one dam. Look at the one village, one dam in the National Cathedral. Look at the one village, one dam in the National Cathedral. Yet Baumia stands on the pulpit. Osama was saying that, oh, we have done it. One village, one dam. This is it. It's, it's located in the National Cathedral. 58 million dollars. What a shame. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. The demonstrators are here. They want to see for themselves. Oh, what a shame. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Oh, 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 oh. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. Look at this. Ah, what a shame. Ah. $80 million. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. $58 million. $58 million. Look at this. Let me see. Let me see. $58 million. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. $58 million. Look at this. Look at this. What a shame. And this is what they have used the taxpayers' money for. Baku for Ado. Oh shame. It's expensive. Shame, 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 shame. Look at look at another another one village one one dam. Another one village one dam. Another one village one dam. Shame. 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 Oh. Oh no. Look. 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 What a shame. Apu. Change must come. Change must come. And operation recover all loot must be enforced. Oral operation recover all loot must be enforced. Oral change must come. Operation recover all loot must be enforced. Look at this. This is for the people of Ghana. What is this? What a shame. What a shame.
Enti efa na sha ka ti dura ho do yin omo demonstration na no na course we bi mu dware mu nyina no na yenti oru akujo to abra kwa ensem bi o kan o class fm a wo chere se ensike sem bi akoso ne chese o target ona wo ken japon nyina why enti court kennedy japon he says his own people are looting like there's no tomorrow Looting like there's no tomorrow. Article 178 is very clear. Nobody in this country 
whether you are president, speaker, minister, MP, DCE, director, chief director, CEO, no matter who you are, you cannot dip your hands in the public purse without parliamentary approval. It is so fundamental. And yet, over $58.1 million without parliamentary approval was spent on the National Cathedral. And you see, if there is any project in the whole wide world, and for that matter in Ghana, we should be pure, we should be holy, we should be righteous, we should be clean. It's a National Cathedral project. Because we are told that we are building a temple for God. Even though I am not convinced that God seen the predicament we find ourselves. The number of pregnant women who are delivering on bare floors. The children who go to bed hungry every day. We see how street hawking is increasing. No potable water in a lot of communities. Unemployment rate worsening. That God will say that he wants to relocate from heaven and come and live in Accra. That is his, his priority for the Ghanaian people. I am not convinced. Especially when when you are conversant with the Bible. Hmm? First of all, in the Old Testament era, God did not allow just anybody to put up temples mm -hmm. for him. David was stopped, as you recall, in the Bible. Yeah, Val told me that. Yes. Yeah. Then when you come to New Testament, hmm, God said, look, all of, all of this, your outward holiness and all of that, that I prefer to reside in you, that as New Testament Christians, that's why I'm living with you, the Holy Spirit, after the death of Jesus the Christ, that you should know that your temple, your, 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 your body, body is a temple unto God. But it's still very reflective you, you on know, a building. So on you Sunday you go you know, to church. You know, yeah, so, and, and in this country, as the Venerable Kwame Pienim asks, have you met any single Ghanaian? He asked President Kufado directly. Has he met any single Ghanaian who told him that he doesn't have a place to worship? Has he met a single Ghanaian who has told him that, look, I love Christ so much, I want to be a Christian, you know, I really want to serve God, but I have nowhere to go to, I mean, to worship, you know. So now we live in a country where it is the churches who are building for us prisons, building hospitals. Mm? Some churches are even now doing roads. Schools. Schools. And then the government, collecting our taxes, is using it for this dubious... You see, if even you have been candid with us, you have been sincere, you have shown some reverence to God and respect to the Ghanaian people, and, and tell us the truth. Look, why... Are you, you in why? any way suggesting that if they had gone about it in the right way, in the right way, you would have been okay with it? Then we'll have had a debate in Parliament. We'll all look at our priorities. And then... If we must even do it, I had the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, who, by the way, has resigned from that scandalous board. He said that, look, if he is giving $50 million, Ghanaians will be amazed at what he will build for us. And you see, these men of God, you have to give them credit. Look at what they have built on their own. Have you been to Action Chapel lately? Yes, have I have. Have you been to uh, Bishop Dougie Ward Mills's? I've uh, been to all of them. Magnificent place on the mountains, you know, around the... Anakazo building the, 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 at Mampo area. Yes. I mean, incredible. And the $58 million we've, we've sunk in a pit. They themselves, if you read Bishop Dougie Ward Mills' resignation letter, he said, look, he has built magnificent edifices. That kind of money, he can do so much with it. And Bishop Dougie's resignation letter... He said that when they had their first board meeting, they were told that they cannot have a say on the location. They cannot have a say on the architect. And they were all amazed. I mean, how can you appoint board of trustees, this eminent clergy? And you see, this is the biggest scam ever carried out in the world. Because President Akufuado knows that this is a very religious nation. Very, very religious once you mention the name of god and once you ask our revered religious leaders to front this effort at least to appear to be fronted all of us will back off nobody will look inside the matter will ask for scrutiny so you see how clever they were and yet apparently as bishop dark revealed in his resignation letter there was another board sitting somewhere and they were taking the decisions i mean how on earth? 
does the president who is a former attorney general who knows our laws you know what the public procurement act is how can you on your own with such <clears throat> a whimsical and capricious approach decide that you are choosing your architect without recourse to the procurement processes of our country remember that i filed an rti request asking the public procurement authority if they know about this national criteria project they said hey please this institution doesn't know about it yes the law requires us to be the only organization to grant procurement approval they must come to us all public funds if you are going to use public funds on a project you must go through a tender process the procurement law requires that you come before us but please we know nothing about this that is the response i got can you believe that and then you see the location this 58.1 million dollars that we keep talking about i have been reminding the ghanaian people that please don't you ever for a second think that the financial loss we are talking about is only 58.1 million dollars by the time we add all the other matters for example compensation are you aware that because of the president's unilateral reckless decision that this national cathedral project must be cited at that enclave the enclave between conference center parliament and the state house so many prime structures were demolished yes i do including the building for the malian embassy let me give you the list you are right the malian ambassador's residence was demolished he is waiting for compensation we have only recently found land for him at airport and you know the cost of land at airport residential sure. bungalows belonging to judges were demolished the judges had to then be relocated to rented accommodation at cantonments you know how much we spent on that millions of ganasins we have only recently finished building replacement bungalows you know the cost of that the 58.1 million dollars doesn't cover this then the judicial training institute which was our foremost judicial capacity building structure for the commonwealth of nations very very renowned i mean the likes of sir dennis eminent juries they were the people running that institute demolished elsewhere such a building will never be touched it will be it will be classified Elemental. as a reserve structure mm. are you aware that the scholarship secretariat was also demolished yes in many other countries scholarship secretariat the kind of people presidents u.s secretary general others who have gone through scholarship secretariat it's not a structure that will have been demolished honorable all of this and many more and many more all of this and many more they, which they, which is very much now in the public domain yes the so, question so, a lot of Ghanaians yeah. would want to know or would want to ask you at this point we have spent 339 million we're told including all the others that may add up yeah in the next five months in the next five months there is a chance there's a chance that we could have a change in government yeah. there's a chance yeah all of these monies have been spent and monies are still being spent are you going to continue with this hell no i will be one of those and there's an answer from your party or from yourself at this point it's it's uh, it's this i i i think it's really from the party even though um i'm yet to see the manifesto which will be launched in the next few days and um to to get a formal sense of what will be done but i have listened to a flag bearer carefully and if you listen to him he has said that he does not think that that project glorifies god and he doesn't think that it is a priority uh, so listening to him carefully i will really be surprised if there are people within within the party who would want to convince him to do otherwise the hole has mm. been dug we have spent a lot of money there you would leave it the way it is there like that you know you know what i think that we should do first of all tell me go after people who have caused financial loss to our state mm. retrieve the monies in the wrong pockets that's the first thing we should do because look we can make so much money from retrievers are you aware that a gentleman called carrie summers is keep the one you chase to the states yes he's keeping us six million dollars you know what six million dollars can do in ghana today six million dollars david ajay 
the inflationary pricing that he has done, the chobonomics he's been doing in this country all over the place. And you're in a position to prove that? Of course. Of course. Scientifically. I mean, I have gone for the charges, what he charges in the UK. Mm? I have looked at the fee structure, both in the UK and Ghana. He has absolutely no business mm? taking more than $13 million dollars for this project he made his representation we decided to pay him that much what is his fault why should we have entertained that are you aware mm, that recently i intercepted another expenditure from the minister of finance where mm. after all the monies he has spent mm, he was asked to and that was carry summer's contribution mm, that he should add a restaurant to the national cathedral design where they will be serving mana and uh, biblical food and all of that. I mean, madness. Hmm? Just for that variation, adding a restaurant, you know how much he charges? $5.8 million. Can you believe that? I mean, these guys, they should all be in jail for causing financial loss. So I am big on the retrievals. I am big on accountability. When we have retrieved our monies, hmm, we cannot decide, look, I have had very brilliant ideas from the TUC, for example, who have mm. suggested that, look, let's convert that place to a specialist hospital. Do you know in Ghana, we don't have a specialist pediatric hospital for our children? Any day, I believe that to glorify God. Me, I was SU vice president. Some people talk as if um, an atheist or pagan. He, you know, oh, you've been I, called an antichrist the yeah, last time antichrist. I checked. Someone was in our studio yeah, who yeah. called you an antichrist. Yeah, yeah. People call me all kinds of names, you know. But here we are, hmm, where they themselves cannot defend the blatant stealing. Those who say they are holy, hmm, they are great Christians. How can they defend the $6 million which they have given to Karisamas? All hmm. over. The best practice is that if you are a fundraiser, you go around, raise the funds, then you get a commission. Ghana, I have read deeply into Karisamas, I followed him all the way. He has never been paid upfront when he raises the funds no wonder he's not been able to raise anything we are rich we decided to pay him up front we are rich and yet we are begging the imf mm, for three billion dollars mm. uh, val we've got I, some I questions have, for the honorable yes i i, 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 want... I have the, the public debt report here mm. Mm, the annual public debt report and you weep for us as a country if you see some of the sums mm, that we go around begging the world for uh, you 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 weep sometimes as low as 12 million dollars mm, construction of district hospitals as low as 19.2 million dollars as low as two million dollars west africa food system resilience even if to feed ourselves we go and borrow this is the annual debt report mm. Mm, and we can afford to give these colossal sums of money to all kinds of dubious characters so i am big on the retrievers on accountability first before we even discuss what we want to do to that hole. But Honorable, you know you can get accountability. Um, you are the chair of the assurance committee. The finance minister was on the floor of parliament giving assurance when this um, national cathedral was going to be completed, how much that has been sunk in and all that. Uh, although you are in court with Reverend Victor Kusibuati or Kwabne Dujemfi, mm -hmm. can't you hold them before your committee? assurance committee to get accountability answers on this we can we can and indeed uh, if you look at the uh, lineup we have done uh, they are part of it uh, the only challenge we have now is that these changes to the committees and the new standing orders mm. are happening only recently and so very late in the term of this parliament i really wish we had time mm. as to really exact the kind of account accountability that that we that we we deserve as a country but we have hit the ground running uh we have already in our first week in office we've already uh summoned the lands minister we summoned the health minister mm. and and we are at it uh, the next group of people will include the energy minister uh, NIVRA, Finance Minister, Rose Minister. So we have a busy um, uh, lineup, except that uh, because of the limited time, campaigns are about to really, you know, get to the peak. Mm. I don't know how, because you see, it's such a hydra headed scandal. Mm. Mm. Look, apart from those who are keeping our monies wrongly, there are also others who are in court 
like you know mm -hmm. demanding compensation mm -hmm. you have all the other hidden matters all these you know the double identity matters mm -hmm. paying monies to themselves you know um the the, the lack of due process and I don't think that just a day's hearing, because these ministers appear before us for a day. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think it to be adequate. I would want to see a full-scale commission of inquiry, you know, under okay. the constitution, a full-scale commission of inquiry that will have months of sittings, because that is what I really want the parliament to do. Just I like filed, I filed a motion for that. On. Exactly. Exactly, you know, but clearly our colleagues, since I filed that motion, have been stonewalling. They don't want us to have the parliamentary probe Why? but i mean of course they have a lot to hide as you can see but i'm hoping that when we uh take over i mean the ndc we'll be able to set up this commission of inquiry and then haul all of these people look what has gone on mm, i do not think that in our history there has been any project which has been so scandalous it's it's putrefying mm. you know the levels of wastage the levels of recklessness look it will run into billions billions of dollars mm -hmm. no cities and people must be made to pay for the grand financial loss they have caused us mm -hmm. they must not get away Reverend Victor Kusi Boatin said that somebody had called to threaten him have you ever been threatened or have you threatened anybody in this course that you've taken upon yourself Oh, always. The threats come virtually on a daily basis. Um, call? Text uh, message? Yes, uh, all of that. All of the calls, text message. Sometimes you see that people are following you. You have to change your route and all of that. There's surveillance. Uh, there's, there's massive surveillance on me. Uh, I know that for a fact. Sometimes even people call me from within um, the government to be careful. Watch your security. It will mm. just come out of meetings and mm. uh, people are really angry. People want to come after you. Have you reported uh, to the police? Um... um there are times that look uh, recently mm. i found a tracking device under my vehicle um where in your office parliament uh, uh it was found at home so clearly it may have been um done i don't know if they they scaled the walls at home or they did it when it was packed uh, uh, uh in parliament uh but it's clear that um the government has has grown very very jittery Mm. They, uh, they want to first of all find out who my sources are uh, for all the documents I intercept. It's clear that uh, they would want to see if it is possible to harm me. Mm. Um, I, I, I have no doubt at all because we are dealing with a very vicious regime, very very vicious. Um, they will stop at nothing. Uh, if you if you listen to that um, Atu Forcing tape, mm -hmm. and you see what the Attorney General was trying to get uh, Jaffa to do, how to nail you know uh the minority leader and have him jailed i mean they have no conscience they don't care if they'll put you in jail over trumped up charges so these are people who are very very wicked uh so i live under no illusion at all that uh they are seeking to come after me and after as for the mad slinging they, mm. they hire all kinds of you know characters who go on air to throw all kinds of blatant fabrications i mean the recent one was some um a character claiming that i own houses and mansions all over the world yes and you, you know, owe companies you yes, don't pay yeah i mean i mean Success. clear 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 hogwash mm, total balderdash um no basis at all i mean if they had the shred mm, an iota of evidence they will have taken me on they will be prosecuting me you know long ago uh, some of them even put out there that I once collected double salary lies, blatant lies. I mean, things that I have never, you know, participated in. But there's always a price to pay for mm. these things. Mm. And what matters is that at the end of the day, I am glad at the results that we are we are achieving. I was saying, I do my part on demand service for an air say I do my part on demand for say. Se o pese wo di jume bia en kan kan gana fo amwa bro chile a obi hiyan nipe di di iso ya tiles and answer building constructors fashion designers chese auto mechanic wo bia o pese wo di se jume bia ma anon wo be kwa ye a pono so na wa dan lo du e jume pa on demand service a yas a so abe kwa www dot e jume pa on demand service e non so so wo be kwa 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 k
ni pa o kokofa no esa ansa wonnim na kira kwan bia nti no to bi kura ni pa na jiska wie open hia na hu no adwuma pa on demand for aba ama sa ho nyina afri ho esa ansa obi bia ya de ba ma on so woni dwuma bia ma no ya ye background checks ehun se se ni pa onnim ne wo ye enye kwan che trefa ni bia wonnim de wo ye ene ye fa no edna ma wo na ni jisa ba ko omu ne se woni pa bia de ba ma wo a woni be di dwuma bia no eh sabe sabe a background or some and I say, see a boo a fast party and yadi basis. Now, one so send him say, Sabu called soldier Mumpa, your military police or no so, and soldier new or two soldier knee, and no, Michelin say, Aye, a jumapa on demand the forno, your son's who is provisors are bringing a bringing anno, or more rounds, a cochak is say, A jumana, nipano de bada, you know, sape pepe, and ye know, next a jumapa on demand the dear, or mamma jumano, I a simple, say, be binny, and I want to see a patcher, no offer numbers, no, I go so on, no offer.